In this video, we're going to be looking at proofs. Our objective, to understand what a proof is, understand how to use a t-chart proof, and understand how to use a flowchart proof. Vocabulary you might want to look up. The word proof, what is a t-chart, and what is a flowchart. First thing is the basic setup of each. A T chart is what it says, basically a big T. On the left side we will put a statement, and on the right side we will put our reason for that statement being true. In the flow chart what we'll do is we'll do a similar thing, except each box will have a statement. Underneath it we will write again a reason for that statement being true, and then we will use lines to guide us to new um, ideas that we can create. So this one um, kind of groups things together that um, work together to prove new things, whereas this one is just a straight bullet point of all the things that you can um, set up from the picture. So what we're going to do here is an example of a T-chart. So here I'm going to make my t-chart, and instead of writing it out, I'm just going to put S there and R there. So statement and reason. We always have a picture. The first thing that we should always do with any proof, t-chart, flowchart, or anything else, is focus first on the givens. So the givens that we have are the angle ACB. is congruent to angle A, C, D. And the reason for that is that we're told. It's a given. After we've written down our first given, we should always mark it within our picture. Now sometimes with the pictures you might want to draw um, triangles and shapes kind of separate so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm going to leave these together and I'll help you with the separated pictures in class as you do proofs. So A, C, B, that angle, is congruent to A, C, D. So I'm going to mark them as congruent. Next, we've got angle B is congruent to angle D. So angle B right up here is congruent to angle D. The reason we know that is it is given. Okay, in blue, I'm going to put in the things that we're going to try and figure out or are going to be proved as we get more information. Well, one of the things that I can see in this uh, shape is that AC is in both triangles. Well, it's the same segment, so it has to be congruent to itself. So AC is congruent to AC, same segment is my reasoning. When they're the same segment, what we a lot of times do is draw a circle on it. If they were separated, we just use tally marks. So what we have here is it looks like we have side, angle, angle, or angle, angle, side. So we're going to match up the triangles, triangle, a, C, B is congruent to triangle, see, A, C, B, A, C, D. And the reason that they're congruent would be angle, angle, side congruency. So we use A, A, S. Because of that, we can actually prove that A, B is congruent to A, D. reason they're congruent is these two triangles are congruent, so all the parts that match up are congruent, otherwise known as C, P, C, T, C. So this is a T-chart proof. It got us to our 
part that we wanted to prove. Similar proof, um, I'm just going to show you how the flow chart works within this. So again, we want to start with all our givens. So we have dx is congruent to dy, and that's given. dx dy. Then we also have ad is congruent to dc, ad, dc, and again that's given. Okay, we can't really tell much about the triangles at this point, so uh, because we need a congruence, we usually need three things. Here we have a side, a side, um, so the next one we're going to go with is we probably need another side which we can't really say much about those because we don't know where x and y are, or we need an angle, as in these. Well, these are vertical angles, so we're going to go angle A, D, X is congruent to angle C, D, Y, and that's because they're vertical. So we have vertical angles, okay, so we'll mark those. Well, these three things together make the triangles congruent. So triangle ADX is congruent to triangle, see here's A, so C dy and they're congruent because we have side angle side so side angle SAS congruency there okay and because these two triangles are congruent that leaves us with angle A and angle C being congruent again because of CPCTC so this is going to leave us with angle A congruent to angle C because of C, P, C, T, C. So this is what a flow chart kind of looks like. Notice basically the same process for both uh, proofs. Um, just one is more of a visual way of thinking, the other is just straightforward information. Um, if there's any parts of these that you didn't understand or you couldn't follow, please pause, rewind, rewatch, and bring any questions to class. Thank you.